The Irish public will this year elect a new president for the first time in more than a decade. Mary McAleese's 14-year tenure as head of state comes to an end in November. Her presidency will be defined by her handling of the first state visit of the British monarch since independence and the visit of US President Barack Obama. A large number of prospective candidates have declared their interest in the office. Former Labour TD Michael D. Higgins, Independent Senator David Norris, Special Olympics organiser Mary Davis, entrepreneur Sean Gallagher, Fine Gael members Gay Mitchell, Avril Doyle, Mairead McGuinness and Pat Cox are among those who have stated their intent to succeed Miss McAleese. Following a significant deterioration in the Irish economy since Miss McAleese was elected in 1997, some have questioned the necessity of electing a new head of state given the expense the position incurs. The Irish Times asked the public if they believed the position was still relevant and what qualities the next president should possess. I don't think it's necessary, but I think it's a good position and I think traditionally they've been great ambassadors, particularly our last two ladies we've had. When you look back on the few nice things that has happened in the, uh, in the last three months in regards to our country being uh, shown all over the world, uh, it was nice to know that we had a number one citizen that presented herself with elegance and uh, good and good character, typical of a lot of Irish people, good character, what we, what we stand for. And, we must be very proud of the lady that did it. For international events or for in the case of any like disaster, it's always good to have a face. You know, I know the Taoiseach has all the power and the decisions in that sort of sense. What kind of qualities would you like our next president to have? Um, just to kind of give the country a bit of a lift and just to, you know, to put a positive edge on things, tell people it's not all doom and gloom and to try and uh, point us in the right direction. No, I think it's a ridiculous post. Waste money. All they do is meet dignitaries. I mean, you can have a, a person that's elected from Parliament uh, assigned the same tasks and it doesn't cost half as much. It's just a waste of taxpayers' money. It's our monarchy, essentially. But I don't think we still need a president. Our economy is very bad at the moment. We could do without a president. What um, kind of a person do you think should be the president? Dear man, David Norris is going for president and Bertie Ahern. Um, I think I prefer Bertie if, if, if he got in, you know. Give him a chance. He ran the country. He's done a good job. I have nothing against him. I am. They said he left the country in a state. I don't think so.